Hello and welcome back to Maeve Actually Plays Fran Bo. New play session for me, new episode for you. We just crashed. Ipward is gone. I have no idea where he is. I have no idea if he's okay. I have no idea. I have no idea about anything. Um, the bike is here that tells us it's not all just a dream. A red bicycle. Is this Ipward's bicycle or mine? Never mind. You know, as soon as I said that, I was like, mm, uh, hmm, okay, well, in any case, did I open this last time? Yes, I did. I wonder what would happen if I find the key. Me too, Fran. All right, but good news is we're back in our reality, um, so hopefully that means we can find Auntie. Oh my fucking god, civilization! That isn't full of bugs! Oh my goodness! This is our street, Kitty! Hayes Street! Yes, it is! Oh, Dip Dam. Can I, like, touch anything? No. Okay. I can look at that. Let's look at that. Oh, shit. It says Hayes Street. Then my house is in that direction. Oh shit! Is this my house? And here we are! This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. They've got little little uh, knobs in the center of the door like they do in England. That's so cool. And Ireland. Aunt Grace? Hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Alright. Where's the fake rock? Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh. Alright. Put, put it. Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Eee. Ah, no key. What's this? A note? It says, I took the key, signed Fran. Fran? That's me! The plot thickens. Oh, how the turntables! Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh, all right then. Wish me luck! You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Go, Mr. Midnight. Do I just have to wait out here? Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door! Wow, the, the perspective is really strange. <gasps> oh no! Fred, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth! He is inside! He will open the door in a minute! God, this game is like... Gaslighting the game. Or Insane Little Girl the game. But I prefer to think of it as gaslighting. Stop it, Fran Face Reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. I don't like that. I don't like that. She said no. It's because he's a child.
I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him! Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir! Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. What? I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Oh god! Family murder on Hayes Street. Quote, the bodies were perfectly sliced. Ah! Martin and Lucy of Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Holma, said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. What the fuck is happening right now? Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. And an obituary. Fran Bo. Oh, shit! It's like the 40s, dude. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Bruh. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I'm not dead and I'm not free from all pain! Besides, pain is nice. It tells me that something is wrong. At least they picked a nice picture of me. I'm smiling. Ah, who told her to lie about me? I am not dead! Who's Gladys? Gladys Hannah? Isn't that the nurse? Why did she get this letter? Oh. The nurse from the very beginning who yelled at me for about the window? Oh, Mommy and Daddy. I'm sorry for what happened to you. I'll find the monster. I know he did this to you. Why would they say that about me? The world is full of lies! Oh, Mommy, I recognize your hand. Ah! I wish I could feel your warm hands caressing my face. Oh my god! I can't. I can't do that anymore. But I am not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. Ecto? Ghost. Same as in Latin. God damn. <laughs> I have this stupid balloon. Well, it's not stupid. It's actually very sweet. Um, I, I recently quit my old job in favor of a new one, and my coworkers bought me an edible arrangement with a helium balloon because they're very sweet people um, that I'm legitimately going to miss. Um, so, of course, I tied it to my chair, and I keep forgetting it's there until the string catches me out of the corner of my eye. I start on Monday. I'm very excited. And also terrified! Anyway. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. So... Weed? Weed. Sounds like weed. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, friend? I can see the ultra-reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra-reality? That must be the consequences of Duati, nothing more. Damn, son. This is like... Medical science fighting... I don't know what you call it. Like, pills versus... Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. That is not true! If I had some more medicine, I could show you! You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, friend. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it! That's a healthy response. I mean, that you are imagining things, that's all. Ah! Ah! That scared the fucking shit out of me! Ah! Holy shit! Wow. 
Wow, sorry, future me, for editing that. Holy fucking... Ah! I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did! Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true! Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir! We need to find out the truth! I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? Oswald. Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead! Oh, I wish I stayed in a Thersto with Polontris and the Great Wizard. Yeah, me too. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Polontris, and my kitty is all alone. Polontris? Itward. Please, Fran. Polontris is the doctor of a Thersta. He is a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Hello? Mostly to see the reason, the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. It wasn't there... When I took the pills back in the first asylum in the surgical room, weren't there two people who were sewed together? I gotta go watch my old videos back. That is awful, sir! You can't take me back to the asylum! Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Polantris was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Why did I choose this voice for him? Why, why is he Microsoft Sam? Good. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Interesting. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? Don't blink! Sorry. Old wounds. I rewatched that episode a couple of weeks ago, alone by myself in my apartment at night. Not a good idea. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice! Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence! We need to open the coffins. We what? Sir. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> Alright, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deedle worms, the deadly worms, came already. Who? Mm, anyway, anyway. We have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Dearn, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Wow. That's fucking sad. Hello, Father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. So I'm not angry at you anymore, but I miss you a lot. I promise I will be happy. It isn't fair to be sad all the time. I thank you for all of the beautiful memories, Daddy. I'll love you forever. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is really hard. 
Mommy, this is very hard. Hey, yeah, knowing you're not around anymore. That really makes me feel lost in the world. But I promise I'll do my best. I'll be happy, Mommy. I love you so much, Mommy, and I always will. Goodbye. <sighs> Fuck me. Fran Bo, huh? I wonder who came up with a lie like this one. Now I remember seeing myself dead in the asylum. But why? Why just me? I know the big monster wants me dead, but what does the asylum have to do with the monster? Rose, this is for the bad smell of the rotten bodies. Oh, lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. Little candle, keep my parents warm. Fuck! I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? Hmm, cute. Alright. <laughs> no name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. This is very reminiscent. I, uh, I'm in a production of Our Town right now, and I'm playing, haha, <laughs> the gravedigger, the crypt keeper. It's very, uh, very, very relevant. I missed what she said. Well, there must be a way to open it. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Okay. What have I got? Stab the door. Stab it. Use the bloody knife with the door. Can't do that. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Oh, dip damn. Crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. I never touched a steering wheel before. Father never allowed that. Mmm, the gearbox. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. It can't be good to press all the buttons. Well, let's go pry open this door, shall we? With the good doctor's crow bear. Perfect. Oh! Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Blah. That sounds kinky. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. <clears throat> Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Of course we can. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, all right, giant miss? Where will I ever find that? Huh. All right. I'll see what I can do. I know. Time to vandalize the doctor's car. He has leather seats. Vandalism is a crime, kids. Whoops. What a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. Vandalism is a crime. <laughs> what a noise. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pinezelus, will be happy. And now I'll open the door just a second. Nice. Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian. I, I'm alright, miss. Yes! Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Hey, Fabio! Run, Fabio, run! Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me! I have the leather! <laughs> huh. There's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. 
Ah, I can't dig with a broom. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Do police exist in this world? Well, now we have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh! I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fred, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Oh! Thanks! Alright, sir. I'll open them. Ugh. Ah! The coffins can't be opened! The lids are stuck! I just... Great! But Mr. Midnight is. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. <sighs> Hi. That's Corvo. He's alive. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Oh, sweet dreams, mommy. <sighs> ah! I hate this. Oh my goodness, father! The deadly worms took your eyes! I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster daddy? Oh, I hate this! Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Yeah, way to scar her for life, dude. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you. Your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. You're just gonna leave them open?! That is not Christian. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Oh. Ah! Shit every time with this! Vanished into the hands of darkness. Wah. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore! I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. You leave her alone! <laughs> Great. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up! Yike Rooney. Chapter 5 The House of Madness. Oh, good! Good! Good. Good. What a stupendous place to end an episode. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! I'm really sorry. Uh, join me next week as we enter the House of Madness. Fucking shit, dude. This game, it's a gift that just keeps on giving, isn't it? <laughs> I will see you next week. See you next week. And, as always, in the meantime, I am Maeve, actually, and I hope that you have a very good day. Bye!